How's it going guys? It is Zach with Utah Bought and Gone here with another video, but a little bit different this time. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I sell quite a bit of sunglasses and usually I get them for pretty cheap at thrift stores, garage sales, things like that. And today I'm going to go over the top 25 brands to look out for while thrifting um, because I've done so well with sunglasses over the years as well as eyeglasses. And uh, I've been actually been selling them for probably the entire time I've been doing eBay. That's what I, when I first started out, it was in 2008, and sunglasses were easy to ship, easy to sell, easy to find, and cheap, because your boy didn't have a lot of money. Um, but I wanted to show you the boxes that I use for um, packaging these. So I get these on eBay. These are six by two by two. They fold up into these little boxes. They're perfect for sunglasses. They even, even if you have a, um, the case with the sunglasses or eyeglasses, they still fit in here. Super nice. And uh, they always get there in one piece. And if they're just the sunglasses, I can get them under four ounces, so it's even cheaper for first class um, shipping. But yeah, let's go over these uh, top 25 brands. I'm probably gonna miss a few. So if I don't go through them in this list, leave me in the comments below. I mean, I tried to cover as much as I could. At first, when I was making this video, I was gonna do the top 10. But then as I was writing down the brands, I was like, oh my gosh, what about this brand? What about this brand? So it ended up being 25. But if I forget any, leave them in the comments below. Um, but first up, Oakley's. So with Oakley's, I have my notes right here in my phone. Sorry if I keep looking down. But Oakley's, um, if you see these in the wild, they have the the O right here. Look at this. I'm wearing the Oakley shirt right now. It looks just like this. Okay. So look for that on the arm. On the inside, it will say made in USA. And uh, that's another indicator that it is real. Then also another indicator that makes them authentic in the measurements on the arm, I'll have these photos to the to the you know to the right of me or whatever, but I'll have them on this on this video. But you'll see the little Oakley logo symbol in between the two numbers. That will also indicate that they are authentic. So Oakleys are my number one seller. Like even if they have scratch lenses, things like that, like they always sell, so they're always hot. Um, next up is Ray Bans. So Ray Bans are super popular. I know you guys have heard of the brand. Um, some things to look out for is the b l or the RB on the lens, and also it will say made in Italy. And then as far as the model number, it'll say RB and then four numbers usually. And uh, that's how you can look up your pair of sunglasses or eyeglasses. And if there's other pairs listed, they're probably authentic. Um, next up is Smith. So look out for that S logo on the arm. That's, that's the first indicator. I've sold multiple pairs of eyeglasses and sunglasses, so look out for both. And uh, they both do pretty well. Um, number four, Von Zipper. So this one's kind of a unique one. So whenever I find these, they're usually not made anymore, right? They stopped making that certain model. So I can usually list these for a little bit higher. So like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, even with scratches, chewed arms, like it doesn't matter. I'm telling you guys, look out for Von Zipper. The logo on the arm will have the V and the Z. That's the first indicator um, to find a pair of Von Zippers. Um, number five, dragon. So you'll see on the arm piece, it'll have the dragon logo with the two arms. And that's the first indicator that you can, that you found a pair of dragons. So always look out for that. These are also like the Von Zipper, kind of unique. I sell these a little bit higher price because they stopped making these certain models. And I can list them high because people like to have their old sunglasses. So also another indicator on the model name, it'll, it'll be raised. So it doesn't rub off or anything like that. So that's another thing to look out for. Uh, number six is Varney. I think I've only found two pairs of Varney. Um, super rare and they're very high quality. You can usually tell if they're authentic just by holding them. They feel heavy and they feel sturdy. Uh, the indicator PX, I think we got PX. Um, they usually have it on the inside of the arm, sometimes on the lens. And then they don't say made in France. They'll just say France. So that's another indicator that you have some, a pair of authentic Varneys. But look out for those. Those are super high quality. Uh, next up would be electric. So similar to Von Zipper and Dragon, people love their, their older sunglasses and when they wear a pair and they like them and they stop making that model, they'll go to eBay to buy them. So you can list these a little bit higher. So electric is another great one. It has the bolt and then the two lines on the side on the arm piece and then also the model name and the name of the electric brand will be raised so it doesn't rub off. So look out for that. Great flip for those. Coach, so I've sold, this is number eight, so Coach is a good one also. Um, I've sold 
probably more pairs of eyeglasses of coach than I have sunglasses. I don't think I've, I maybe only sold one or two pairs of coach sunglasses. So even the eyeglasses, I think I sold a pair a couple months ago for 40 bucks. And again, I'm buying these for a dollar, dollar fifty, maybe two bucks a piece. So, and they're so easy to ship. They're light, they're cheap, and you make some good profit. So look out for coach. You'll see um, a bunch of info on the arms. They don't mess around with any. They'll have the color, the model number, things like that. Uh, and you can usually look that up on eBay. If there's other pairs listed that are just like yours, they're authentic. They're not gonna have a bunch of fake ones with a bunch of information on it. You're gonna be able to sell. These are authentic. Also, they'll be higher quality. Uh, next up is Spy. I like these a lot. I find them quite a bit here in Utah. Um, easy way to tell, they got the cross on the arms. Sometimes they'll have the name written out, so it'll say Spy and then their logo. So that's another way to look out for uh, Spies as well. Number 10 is Serengeti. So Serengeti is an also kind of a rare brand and they don't usually have a logo. They have their name spelt out on the arms and I think they have like a, sometimes they'll have like a red line around it, uh, around their name on the arms. But Serengeti's are actually also really well, or really good. And uh, so look out for Serengeti's. Number 11 is Carrera. So I think I've only sold maybe one pair of Carreras. Uh, another way to look out for them is also they have the name Porsche on them, which is made by Carrera. And they'll have that they'll have the C on the nose piece. You'll see on these photos that I'm posting, but you'll that's the first indicator that you got a pair of Carreras. And then sometimes they have them on the arms or the lenses and then also on the arms, their name. So look out for those. Number 12 is Maui Jim. I sell a ton of Maui Jim. And I tend to find uh, sunglasses with prescription lenses in them. So they'll have the tinted lenses and then they'll have a prescription, which is not a deal breaker. You can still sell them. They just don't sell for much, but you can still get like 50 bucks. So um, easy indicator, look out for the name. It's in cursive on their arm. And then um, the model number always starts with MJ. Again, look it up on eBay. You'll see other ones listed. You'll know that they're authentic and you can also tell us sturdy they are. There is um, Maui Gym Sports. They're, they seem like they're super cheap sunglasses and they're flimsy and they're plastic, but those ones sell for like 80 bucks. I think I sold a pair with missing nose pieces for $80. So people buy them. I'm telling you guys, you buy them for a buck, you list them, you sell them and you ship them out. Super easy product to, to, to uh, make some profit on. Okay, next up, number 13 is Arnett. These aren't super profitable sunglasses or eyeglasses. I usually have to look these ones up when I find them because sometimes they're not, they're maybe only worth like 10, 15 bucks, but every once in a while you'll find a pair that's worth 40 or 50 or 60. So look up the model number, um, but they're not super valuable, but they are something to look out for. And you can usually tell what their name is spelt out on the side of their arm. So um, next up is number 14, Persol. So this one's pretty cool. So they have like these two arrows on the arm and then there's, they have these two lines next to those arrows. And you'll see in the photos, those two lines are like super flexible. So people with wider heads, they can, they can kind of bend right there at the end and they won't break. And a lot of people with larger heads like these ones. So um, I find a lot of prescription sunglasses as well as eyeglasses, but I'm telling you guys, they still sell. So look out for the two arrows and then the two lines after on the arms. And also you can see on the inside of the arm, they all have the, the name as well. Um, next up, we got number 16. This is, no, sorry, 15, Nike. This one, I mean, everybody knows the Nike logo. These aren't super profitable sunglasses. I think I've sold two of these in the past, but they, they, Nike's trying to be competitive and they're trying to make their, you know, their sunglasses a little more nicer. So you can tell they're kind of higher quality. They're getting better with them. An easy way to tell the Nike logo. There's not a lot of fakes running around with, you know, not all of fake Nike uh, sunglasses or eyeglasses. So um, they still sell. So if you can get them for a buck, list them for 20 to 40 bucks, make some profit, ship them out, and you're good to go. Uh, number 16, Tiffany Co. I think I've sold two or three of these. Usually on the side, it'll say taco, but it's T and Co. And that's how I usually look for them. I look for taco. And uh, you'll see it on there. And then also on the inside of the arm, you'll see the... Um, let's see here. Yeah, you'll see all the, the model names and or model numbers on the inside of the arm. There's not a lot of fakes going on with these ones as well, so you can usually tell if they're you know they're good to go. So 
Number 17 is Kate Spade. So there's a lot of eyeglasses of Kate Spade in these still cells. Well, easy indicator, they say Kate Spade on the side and um, they'll say New York on the inside. That's kind of different. Usually they'll say made in USA, made in France, made in Italy, but these ones, Kate Spade say New York and that's how you'll be able to sell if they are authentic. Number 18 is Bole. So again, these ones aren't super valuable every time, but they can be. The ones that are older can be worth you know quite a big amount of money. So easy way to look is look for the B on the lens sometimes, but usually they'll have a either Bole spelt out on the arm or just a B. And um, that's the first indicator is just look for Bole, but there's not a lot of fakes for these, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, again, they still sell with scratches, chew marks, anything like that, they will sell. Number 19 is Revo. I don't think I've ever sold a pair of Revos because I haven't been able to find them. First indicator is they have that line above the E, super uh, high quality sunglasses, and they usually sell for right around like 90 to 100 bucks, even used. So look out for those um, nice sunglasses. You'll be able to tell that they are authentic. And uh, number 20, so I kind of piled these four up together because there is so many fakes out there. This is Dior, your Chanel, your Gucci, and your Louis Vuitton. They do sell for a lot of money used. They will. But 90% of the ones that you're going to find are going to be fake. They make a lot of fakes out there. So I just don't want you to sell something that's fake on eBay. So make sure to do your research. Another way to do your research is honestly go on their website, type in the information on the arms, and find your sunglasses on their website. If you can't find them, you can at least find them on Google somewhere because they might be older. But if, if if they're authentic, they will be on the internet and they'll have um, the information on those sunglasses. So do your research. I if, if they don't feel authentic, they don't feel real like strong and durable, then they're fake. So watch out for those four. They can be very profitable. You can sell them for two, three, four hundred dollars, but just be careful because you can get in trouble uh, selling some fakes. Number 21 is Brighton. These ones are pretty noticeable because they they kind of have um, metal like flowers on the arms and stuff like that. So they're not sterling or anything like that, but they kind of look like they're sterling. And a lot of their sunglasses, not all of them, but a lot of them have that that wavy flower look on their sun, on their sunglasses and eyeglasses. That's the first indicator, obviously. And then it says Brighton on the inside of the arm. These go for around 40, 50 bucks, depending on the brand or the model that you have. But uh, people still buy them. Um, number 22 is Native. I've sold a couple pairs of these and I actually sold one a couple weeks ago. These photographs that I'm showing you are the ones I actually sold. Found a brand new in the in their case and everything, never used. And uh, I think they sold for 65 and I paid $3 for them. So like Native is a really good one. I think I've only sold two of those, but um, obviously it says the name Native on the arm. And then it will, I think it'll be like polarized. Let me look at my photos. So it'll be polarized on the arm and yeah, polarized. And then it'll say the native uh, brand name as well. So number 23 is Cartier. I've never found a pair of Cartier sunglasses. I found a case once and I think I sold it for $30. So even if you find the sunglasses case, you can still sell it for 30 bucks or so. And these ones are super valuable and people want them. If you ever find these, you, better do your research, but I'm like, I don't see, I've never heard of a lot of fakes of Cartier, but they're gorgeous sunglasses and they're very durable. Do your research, go on their website, see if you can find your model number. And that's how you know if they're real or not. Uh, number 24, Versace. So Versace, this one is an easy indicator. It has the gold logo of the lady on the arm. That's the first symbol. Sometimes they have just their name, but a lot of the times it's just that gold logo. And that's that's one of the first indicators. And also the name as well, Versace on the inside. And um, I think I've sold maybe two pairs of these, three pairs, but they're out there and they and they go for about 60, you know, 60 bucks and up, even used. And number 25, the last one, this is Costa Del Mar. And I've never found a pair of these but I always look for them, but I know like they have super, they're super valuable. First indicator to look for is the giant C on the arm. And if you find a pair of these, let me know, because I think like I've been trying to find these for years and I've never been able to find a pair of Costa Mar. So 
keep an eye out for the big C and then also it'll say some, uh, some indicators on the inside as well. But if you guys have any questions regarding sunglasses, you can always hit me up on Instagram or this leave comments below and I'll get back to you. I'm usually pretty quick with getting back. Um, I know I probably missed a few brands to look out for because I couldn't cover them all. But if you guys think of something, leave it in the comments because maybe I don't know about a certain brand. And then also, don't be afraid of those scratch lenses. Don't be afraid missing nose pieces, even missing arms. I sold a pair of Oakleys with a broken, where the, where the lens goes, the plastic was broken so the lens wouldn't even stay in. I ended up selling those Oakleys for like $60 free shipping and I paid $3 for them. So I'm telling you guys, they'll sell with any condition depending on the model, um, but look it out for them. And then if you like, if you have any like eyeglasses as well, they will sell. Like if they're Smiths, they're Ray-Bans, they're Coach, eyeglasses, they will sell. People love them because they don't want to go to the store and pay up for them to get them brand new. So they'll buy them used and just put their lenses, their prescription lenses in there. So hope this video helped you guys a lot and I hope it brings money into your future because there's a lot of money in sunglasses and eyeglasses. And if, um, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.